Hello everyone, welcome back to the Distributed Generation and Smart Grid Lecture Series. So we were discussing about uh, different islanding scenarios. These are fast separation from the faulted feeder, prevention of spurious separation, non-fault separation, separation from exporting microgrid and resynchronization. So one major service uh, provided by the microgrid is uh, uninterrupted power supply to the priority loads during any outage. And if the load of the microgrid are so voltage sensitive as to require separation times of less than 50 milliseconds, this is as per the specification, then uh, it will not be uh, possible for existing protective equipment to act that fast, uh, act that fast to clear the fault under any condition. So usually secure relay time to detect an under voltage or over voltage is up to 2 cycles and a medium voltage breaker requires 3 to 5 cycles to interrupt the circuit after receiving the uh, trip signal. Therefore, if the microgrid does not have a very fast acting solid state circuit breaker at PCC, other means uh, must uh, other uh, method must be adopted to prevent the voltage from uh, falling below 50 percentage of for three cycles or longer. So, to design and protection improvements, the following uh, cases to be considered. First one is when separation is not necessary. That is separation of uh, microgrid from grid is not necessary and second one is when separation is necessary. So first case uh, when separation is not necessary uh, such case occur when fault is not located between PCC and the utility substation breaker. Uh, for example uh, a fault causing sag on a substation uh, on a substation bus may occur on an adjacent feeder fed from the same substation. In such cases, one option of preventing sag is to install uh, a sag character, electronic type sag character, or replacing the star star connected transformer at PCC with the delta star connected transformer. So, for single phase to ground fault in the utility, delta star transformer would ensure that the phase to ground voltage in the microgrid does not drop below 58 percentage. So, these two options demonstrate how protection considerations and design options must be considered together in developing economic uh, microgrid. And installation of electronic SAG protector is, a, is actually costlier. Uh, but uh, replacing a star star interconnecting transformer with a delta star one is a cheaper solution. Uh, even though that is less effective. Uh, so when you are designing your microgrid you should consider uh, uh, these uh, possible solutions when separation is uh, not necessary uh, how do you manage the uh, unbalance in the voltages and second case when separation is mandatory when a fault occurs on its main incoming feeder at the PCC the microgrid must separate from uh, the utility uh, thus, uh, extensive effort are needed to develop uh, high-speed protective devices that would meet uh, the uh, semi-5 F47 requirements even without long-term electronic SAG protectors. And the storage requirement for electronic SAG protectors is reasonably reduced if high-speed tripping is employed in the microgrid. So, when a fault occurs, the uh, separation of microgrid from utility is mandatory. 
then second scenario is spurious separation so uh, from operation point of view maintaining a tie between the microgrid and uh, utility is highly desirable which is highly desirable but if fault occurs on the tie then the microgrid should be separated from the utility using a fast tripping devices uh, inexpensive protective devices are not secure and may cause fault tripping and spurious separations so uh, fault stripping problems may arise not only from the electromechanical relays and breakers but also from the uh, sophisticated microprocessor based protection packages acting solely on information available at pcc so if a microgrid supplies backup power to its own loads then spurious separation can be tolerated to a certain extent rapid separation from facility uh, from a faulty utility uh, safeguards the microgrid from getting affected by upstream disturbances and it allows uh, uh continue to operate uh continue its operation so a spurious separation has a little effect on the operations of microgrid and utility as long as microgrid is able to restore the normal uh, operation after uh, separation then the Uh, fault stripping problems uh, that is uh, uh, it is due to the mainly due to electromechanical relays and breakers uh, and also it occurs in the sophisticated microprocessor based protection packages and this uh, impact of fault strip on a single micro source connected to the utility Uh, amounts to losing kilowatt hour sales and the cost in incurred due to the due to restart and resynchronization resynchronization and this fault stripping leads to power quality problems also so the next one is separation in non fault conditions separation in non fault conditions so low voltage uh, low voltages may also occur under non fault condition therefore whether a, a low voltage condition is associated with the fault between the pcc and the utility substation may difficult to ascertain without a high speed communication between the microgrid and utility controllers that is even without a fault there is a possibility of uh, low voltages so with fault uh, uh, we cannot uh, differentiate it whether it is uh, due to a fault or not and uh, the trip control may achieved through communication with either utility or trip restrain system so some degree of voltage unbalance always exists on the distribution feeders even under normal conditions so the under voltage tolerance limit for microgrid that is the voltage settings under which the microgrid will align itself that is the uh, tolerance limit that is the voltage settings under the under which the microgrid will align itself so that under voltage tolerance limit for microgrid depends upon the factors like uh, transformer connectors connections and uh, grounding point within the microgrid so therefore uh, an intelligent controller function should be incorporated in the protection coordination module at pcc 
to make the appropriate decision of whether to separate or not to be based upon voltage and balance so there should be a intelligent controller uh, associated with the protection coordination module next scenario is separation of exporting microgrid uh, if a microgrid have surplus energy it will actually export the energy so this kind of exporting microgrid are not in a position to use simple reverse power relays to determine utility contingency conditions also simple over or under voltage relaying schemes may not ensure tripping for utility faults as exporting microgrid itself has has adequate generation capacity so as an as an exporting microgrid contains excess generation than its maximum load its impedance ratio is much closer to that of utility this is a major difference between an exporting microgrid and an importing or non exporting one hence the voltage division in exporting microgrid during fault is considerably different from that in the grid connected importing microgrid so implementing an exporting microgrid uh, would require a major redesign of the protection and control systems as compared to the conventional protection practices which is suitable for importing microgrid so that is what is the concern when you are designing a protective system for a exporting microgrid we cannot adapt the the same thing that of a, a importing microgrid then last scenario is resynchronization so relay and control schemes are uh, generally used for resynchronizing a conventional Uh, synchronous generator either manually or automatically and for resynchronizing uh, a power electronics inverter interfaced micro source automatically if the micro grid contains only a single micro source then the choice of manual or automatic resynchronization will depend largely on the skills and availability of the operator if if the microgrid contain only one single micro source but if if there are multiple micro sources are present in your microgrid then uh, which are present at various locations suppose then automatic resynchronizing scheme should be incorporated in a protection coordination module design and also this protection coordination module may also include other refined controls like delayed resynchronizing during the storm conditions where disturbance may be frequent and the communication facilities with at least the larger micro sources so resynchronization is incorporated with the protection coordination module uh and uh, delayed resynchronization is uh, usually associated with uh, uh, a some micro grid uh, where the disturbances are more fre- uh, frequent uh, uh, if the disturbances are frequent means uh, uh, we cannot synchronize very fastly because uh, there are possibility of other disturbances Uh, occur uh, after that so we should have a time delay so delayed resynchronization and condition also should be incorporated with the design of a protection coordination module of a uh, microgrid so these are the various uh, uh, alanting scenarios in a microgrid